Hi. Okay, let's let's just fucking roll with it for now. Anyway, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in the shop and we're more kitted than we are. No, we're more kitted than we were last time. Ish. And I still feel like the camera is not up high enough. I think we need to go. It's not bad here, and the camera looks like it's like that. Um, I need a big enough box to put that on so that you guys are like consistent. What is a big, flat, non wobbly, wobbly, wobbly? Do I have one of those? Oh, maybe if I put two six by sixes. Do I? If I put two six by sixes, as long as it's the same fucking height, because of the same six by sixes. Ooh, that's better. That's ooh, that's that looks a lot better. That's a little bit crispier. Oh fuck! Almost died. I think we have some dead animals in here, like mice or something. And there's a little background lighting. And then, how does that? Yeah, we definitely have some. I bet you there's def some critters around here. I'm gonna have to find them. Backlit even? Okay, that's good. How do what does it look like when I plug the light in over there? Ugh. See, this is what happens when you watch somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing. Like, absolutely no clue. I, I, sometimes I look like I, I have a clue, but I really, really don't. That's a random place to put that, Taylor. <sighs> How does that look? Because... As an aside, and I know you still probably can't see me in the shop, but I, 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 I genuinely have no idea if you can see me in the shop or shot. But, um, hey, that's not too bad. And there's a light over there I can plug in. See, a lot of this stuff, like, I've been just kind of doing little bits and pieces over time. And sometimes the shit works and sometimes it doesn't. I really need to clean some of this up. I bet you some of y'all are fucking laughing at my ass. Oh, I don't know if that's going to do anything, but Jesus. Okay, maybe I'll make a montage of fuckery. If you'll notice, I've got actual merch on, which is sort of not merch, but is merch. Because you can't buy it. I had to custom get this one. So you can't order it. But I do have hats on the merch thing, all in hopes that I can make enough money so I can fix this fucking thing. And so I can put some shit on that and do something with it. At least something more with it. I've got the actual mics. On. I've had, I've only, I think I've only used these like twice, maybe three times. I use these with Ed Roberts. It worked really good. I had to buy a, a Android phone, which is what you guys are currently recording on. I don't know how well it's recording on it, but it's recording nonetheless. Um... And I said I wasn't going to jumble and shit around, but guess what? I think I'm literally going to put some of this old stuff that I took off that bike over there, and I'm going to put them under in... Yes, you, you have no idea what I'm talking about, but it doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, we're going we're gonna to talk about something useful. But in the meantime, like last time, i got to do something productive in the shop, because if I'm not productive in the shop, all I'm doing is talking to myself. And whilst... I get really great answers when I do that. It's not really beneficial to you guys, other than maybe, maybe entertainment. I don't know. Because now, now, I have a bench. And now I have, why is that plug, my son must have been out here. See, I've got all of this wonderful stuff out here. <laughs> My wifey texting me that her tea is cold. I guess it's going to stay cold because I'm out here. And then you guys are blowing me up. My goodness. We have lots of views. <laughs> cool. Um, don't really care about that right now. We'll check on that later. We really should. Um, when you plug receptacle... When you plug receptacles in... No. When you plug cords into receptacles, they really should have ends. 
But why don't these have the extra ground like the big ones do? Like, I don't understand why you have, why you need to have three in a receptacle. But the majority of things that we get now, like phone chargers and shit, only come with two. Can someone explain that to me? I don't, I don't understand. I really, I really don't understand, but it is what it is. So, I think I denied you guys some, some good content because I already put the rear sets on the bike. I did that on both sides and realized that I should have taken video of that. Surprise! Um, I also spent like close to an hour trying to figure out why the lift wouldn't lift and then another hour trying to figure out why the lift wouldn't go down. And I might show you in another video because now that I spent all this time and energy setting the fucking thing up, I don't really want to move it. Um, but there's a tiny wee little screw in the bottom of the pump. And if it's too loose, it won't pump. If it's too tight, it won't release. So what did I do? I played with it. Even though there's a sticker that says do not adjust. Probably shouldn't have fucked with it. Yeah. Okay. So, now that we're here, one of the problems that I've been having with this SV is there was lots of electrical shenanigans, we'll use the polite term, and try and not cuss. You know, I'm probably going to do that anyway, but I digress. This bike had so many electrical gremlins, it's not funny. So, I have, thus far, I have put... This main cable harness in, replace the one that was there, because I found seven, seven wiring repairs on one line. One. I stopped counting the number of times I saw repairs and hacks after that. And at which point, I ordered the harness. Put that in. And this is like a secondary piece. If I recall, because I put this in like two years ago, I really don't remember. Also, this is the front harness. This goes to the cluster. That goes to the cluster. This goes to the main harness. This goes to lights and signals and things. And this goes to additional things that I don't remember where it goes. But anyway, this harness was so hacked, there was almost no connectors on the old one. So I threw it in the garbage and simply got another one. This is actually the second version of that because I bought the bike and the guy I bought it from said it was the naked version of an SV650, which if you know anything about SV650s at uh, that age, it was a K. Um, it wasn't until I unearthed the rest of the bike that I realized that it's actually an S because it actually says on the sticker that it's an S. Um... The issue is I had to take a bunch of shit off to find the sticker because it was covered up. So I got a K, I got a K harness, which is somewhat different. So I got the S harness after sending it back. And what that also meant is none of the stuff that the guy had on it would work. So I'm basically slowly building, rebuilding the front end to kind of put it back the way it was. That was a lot of drivel. I don't know if you guys are going to want to know any of that, but hey, here we go. So that's the front harness. We started discussing this. I picked everything up and started discussing wiring because I held this in my hand. The old regulator was Gertostin. Now this is the back side of the harness that I got after I bought the... So this was first, then I bought the regulator because it was Gertostin. Then I realized after all of the said and done is that the connector, uh, you probably won't be able to zoom in and see it, but the connector that's right here, one of the other connectors, it's melty. I can't just buy this connector. I can't seem to find this connector. That connector, let me see if you can see it. I don't know whether it's going to zoom or not, but she's three-pronging. A lot like a receptacle, which is part of the reason why I talked about three-pronged receptacles in the first place. Um, this one's melty, and I can't get just this one. So I don't know whether I'm going to get lots of hate for it, I really don't care, to be completely honest. 
I'm going to use four wire trailer harness in replacement. Um, I don't care. It's going to work. It's weatherproof and it's good in good condition. So I'm going to um, nip the tip off of this. This was $15. So I really don't care if I screw up the connector. I really don't. And I really don't care if I screw up this connector, even though I replaced the harness, because it's going to be me putting it on. So if I screw it up, it's on me. I'm not going to do that tonight because I'm tired and I don't do wiring when I'm tired because the last time I did wiring when I'm tired, I nearly melted something. It, it may have been a cordless impact drill. We won't talk about that. Uh, somebody asked me on LinkedIn in my DMs, is that really socks? They are, in fact, socks that are in fact protecting the carbs and more specifically things dropping into the carbs and the intake of said motor. They were clean when I put them on. So the inside's still clean. No, they were not used for anything else. I'm 40. I use towels now. Something to think about. I put that side on. I also put this side on the rear sets. This set was Fairly easy. It's nice and tidy now. Nice. But whilst this is nice, then how do I explain it? I don't really want to move again. I don't really want to move the phone to show you, but needless to say, this has a compound spring on it from the last probably several Yumpties that have owned this. Um, in, in the box, where, is that the box? In the box. I'm going to, I'm going to say in the box like five times because that's what she said. Um, came a new brake switch. So the brakes, this new brake switch means that instead of springy, 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 it's a pressure switch, not a pull switch. I think, which means I have to take some of the shit back off and take the brake line off that's on it, bolt out, replace the bolt with the switch because this screws in with new, new washers. I don't know why that's going to show up in the video. It is what it is. And now the switch, as it were, becomes the bolt. So it's got to tighten to spec properly, which then means, well, and then obviously plug it into the rest of the harness, which then means when I pushy pushy the rear brake pressure, not the pull, the pressure of using the rear brake will turn the rear brake light on. But that assumes any of this crap back here works because I don't know, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to show you some of the stuff up, up close and personal because I don't know. So that is what most of this harness has looked like. I don't know if it's in focus enough for you guys to see it, but it is what it is. Um, this is up close and personal on the light. Yeah, look at that melty melty in there. That's a completely useless connector. This is not secured in any way. I have a battery for it, but it, the battery's probably dead by now. That's what it looks like inside. This thing's filthy because it's been sitting for, it's getting close to four years, I think. Uh, I ripped these off, they were nasty. I have, the fuck did I put? I have nice brown ones. Nice brown ones to put on. Don't ask me why I got shit brown. It is what it is. And for those that also asked in my LinkedIn DMs, that is the color that I bought it with. If you'll notice up there, there is the matching tank, which leaks like a sieve. I've already tried to fix it. And I don't mean I tried to fix it. I mean, I paid a welder who welds and welds aluminum and things like that to make an attempt. And it's so rotted inside, it just kept going. So I bought another tank, which is nice and clean, um, to go on it. But as you can see, also, 
the rear tail section is lovely. So I'm going to have to paint strip it or find a new set of fairings. So let's, oh, just in case you want to. It's such a satisfying noise. And yes, I hacked the living shit off of this to get this out and realize it's a through and through bolt and this, this end is bent. So I need to find a new bolt and nuts and whatnot to fix that. I digress. Let's put you back where you guys were. Cool. Uh, what was the other question? Oh, this is what sits underneath the tank. This is quote unquote the air box. So air in air filter, which I probably need to replace. And then the air comes out in the box. This goes into one carb. This goes into the other carb, which is bank, you know, cylinder one, cylinder two. I don't remember which one's which. Don't ask. <sighs> Suck, squish, bang, blow. Me. And away we go. Um, what else? Uh, oh, let's, let's turn you. Hopefully you can see properly. Um, throttle is slower to return to zero than I would like. It turns smoothly, but it's slow. So I don't know whether I have a sticky cable or that's normal or what. That bike over there is electronic throttle. So it's snippy, snappy, snippy, snappy. This is wait for lunch. I don't know if you can hear the noise. I guess I have the microphone, don't I? It's actually a kind of nice noise. I like nice noises. Um, front brake lever broken. That's a great way to hurt myself. I need a new lever. Uh, I need, look, I think the reservoir is fine, but the bracketry has been, <sighs> somebody with no sense and no brain has put this on this way. It doesn't fit properly. doesn't sit nice. It's all gerfucked in. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. The other thing too is the line that goes in here into, I think that's technically, technically the master cylinder. If I'm not mistaken, I could, I could be saying it wrong. Um, the, the 90 degree here has been worn pretty bad because this has been sitting improperly and fucked in it. So I will need to replace the right front brake lever. Um, the choke cable appears to work. I don't know if the lights work. I don't know if the signals work. I don't know if the horn works. Uh, obviously because the battery's not hooked up and I'm not going to hook up the battery yet because that's a great way to start a fire because I'm a klutz. <sighs> the clutch. I think works just fine. We will find out at a later date. The chain, well, the chain looks like it was on there since the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So I will probably need a new chain and new sprockets. I do need to change the oil still. Yes, I've had the bike for four years and no, I haven't changed the oil yet. Uh, I have no idea if the front calipers work. I have no idea if the rear caliper works. I know that there is enough meat on the rear tire to pass safety. I know that there's enough meat on the front tire to pass safety. So I have a new tank. Uh, I have all the bits to go on the tank, either swap or new, which I need to do. I need to do a bit of cleaning. I need to put some new spark plugs in, I need to do oil change, I need to do the fuel tank stuff. Then I need to figure out how to route this stuff properly. So that the tank, that, so that the air box can go on, so that the tank can go on. And once I do that, maybe I'll be able to start it for the first time since I bought it. Even though when I bought it, it kind of quasi started. It ran for like three quarters of a second because we put a little bit of fuel in the fuel line and it ran. So I know it technically can run. Oh, that's nice. The frame bolt, rear subframe bolt. Is just completely loose. See, this is why you nut and bolt the car. And I'm talking about a bike. So you nut and bolt the bike. And I have a different screw here than I do here. And I've taken those out already once. See, this is me noticing nothing. So I wonder if I can make a SWAT list from this. Maybe I'll pull this transcript and pull a SWAT list because that was pretty good. Oh, I don't know if the rear light works. I don't have any front signals. 
I don't have a front stay. I don't have a front fairing. I don't have front lights. I don't have front signals. I do have a cluster, though. He's pretty. Yeah, I like it. So all that's to say, I really have no idea what I'm doing, even though I worked in the power sports store for a year and a half, fixing motorcycles, fixing ATVs, fixing side-by-sides, fixing scooters, fixing all kinds of things. So I'm somewhat familiar. I don't have my license in it, but I was technically an apprentice for a year and a half fixing power sports toys. And it's technically a motorcycle apprenticeship, which is weird. This is the really confusing thing in Canada, and I don't know what, what kind of regulations there are in the States for power sports, if any. But in Canada, in order to work at a power sports store and not get fined as a power sports store owner, the people working there need to be an apprentice in the motorcycle program, whether they sell motorcycles or not. At least that's what I was told. I don't write the rules. I don't. I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. So... With that said, there's a lot of really stupid things. We're going to do a lot of stupid things out here. Maybe next time I will actually clean something up rather than just drivel. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Comments. Give me comments on LinkedIn. Give me comments on YouTube. I'll keep doing these things if you want to see them. Say it with me. Say it with me. Negative pushes. Positive pulls. And always clean your toys before you put them away.